No, I meant to add hello. <laughs> uh, welcome to another episode of our community Open Pen Dragon stream. We are live and uh, we're going to play through St. Albans. Uh, but we have one person who did not roll to see how day two went for St. Albans. So we're going to actually start with that. Uh, so, good sir, um, Sir Edward, our new player, slash guinea pig. We need you to do some rolls for us. Um, I need you to start with a battle roll, not impassioned. Good. Yes, sir. Thank, thanks for the uh, thanks for the guinea pig. Really feeling the love, <laughs> right, here, right, Bob. Don't don't worry. <laughs> the love comes later after uh, you survive. Yeah. All right. Uh, no modifiers though, right? Uh, correct. Yeah. Okay. We we love Here two we thousand glory knights and above. I'm just I'm just. Playing. Oh, uh, holy. Oh, 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 oh. All right. That's that's a start. That's a start. All right. Uh, well, that doesn't determine everything. Does I called it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> you were meant to. Okay. So now, um. Well, you're basically going to fail this. Uh, it's impossible for you to succeed. Uh, actually, not impossible, because we always say that a one always counts. What is your best weapon score right now? Uh, uh, um, my best weapon score is my sword, which is on 15. 15. Okay, I want you to do make a sword skill roll. And you're gonna put minus 14 as the modifier. You've got a one in 20 chance of success. Minus 14. There goes nothing. Rolled 11. Okay. So odds were Draft. good, but uh, you didn't fumble. Uh, you didn't fumble on that roll. That would actually be the worst roll to fumble on. Um, the mm -hmm. first one just gives you a very high likelihood of failure. Um, so you take, damage-wise, through the entire battle of day two. Uh, this is after armor damage, so you just apply this after armor. You take 16 okay. damage after armor. Uh, 16... So what does that land you at for? How close are you to your unconscious? Or are you unconscious? Uh, my unconscious is at seven. Seven. Okay. And how much is your total hit points? 28. Okay. Um, so we're going to determine how many wounds you took that 16 over. One wound got you that. What's your knockdown score, good sir? Knockout is at, uh, well, my size is at 13. So, same as my knock knockout, I believe. You're, you're knocked down, yeah. So, you're going to make a horsemanship roll. Unmodified. Okay. Uh, a, a what roll? Horse, horsemanship. Horsemanship. Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, I got a, I got a, I got a really good score and, uh, and uh, with no modifiers. Correct. Yes, sir. Oh. And we got a 15. Okay. We got a 20 in it. Gotcha. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Good. Well, yep. you don't take any extra damage. Uh, what is your major wound? Major wound is 15. Okay, make a constitution roll. Con roll, rather. Okay, you're good. You do not uh, fall immediately unconscious. You do end up with a major wound. I'm not going to reduce uh, a brand new character uh, scores right away. So you're gonna, I'm gonna save you on that. Um, and... Um, Make a squire roll. Uh, which which one? Battle or or horsemanship or first aid? Uh, just 
Actually, hold on. Uh, I'll do it. Go for it. Oh god. So that didn't help at first. Uh -huh. uh, but you manage to hold on. You end up... Um, a as we start the, the feast, I think the idea is that you're a, you're a bit like late to the feast. I'm not going to actually make you miss any of the feasts because, again, it's for session playing. Um, but I think the, ge the general idea is that your squire isn't actually able to help you and you have to go to the tents for surgery because you took a major wound. Mm -hmm. Um, yep, yep. Um, so, thanks a lot, Fumble. Right? <laughs> I'm starting the, uh... But, yeah, you guys can go on, I I guess. Oh, no, no, you're, you're good to go. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, okay. I believe I haven't done Hrothgar's yet as well, so... I oh, let's do that for you, yes, that's right. Okay. We've done it for Mark, but not for this character. All right, wrong, wrong. All right, let's fail. Fail, so you're just going to make it with a failure. You're making your best weapon skill with a minus 10 penalty. Minus 10. And you can't. Um, oh, look at that. Six minus. Okay. Uh, so you take... What did I say? The success, you take 2d6 damage. This can't be absorbed by armor, right? This is the idea with this is... Take seven damage over three hits. So yeah, you're good. Uh, we're gonna start this a little bit interesting. So Edward, we're gonna roll you in on round two of the feast. Um, and I've got something for you specifically for round one, just thematically that we'll play through. Um, so the the other three, why don't you make an app roll? Oh boy. I passed one finally. I don't know how I succeeded. We are all near the salt. Huh? Near the salt. Well, it makes sense because pretty much the near the salt means you're spread out throughout the, the courtyard. Is it Bailey or Mont? Which one's the lower area? I always get those messed up. It's a Bailey, right? It's oh, Bailey. Bailey, I believe, yeah. Yeah. So you're down in the Bailey, right? This is a very different feast. This is a, a feast where, um, well, let me do it this way. This is oh, a set. Yeah. All right. So the majority of the knights are down below and um, the some of the lords, some of the heroes are up in the, up celebrating the Uther himself. Uh, when we start this game, are you uh, using this is Salisbury? This no. is not. This is St. Albans, which is, I can show you actually. St. Albans. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, my bad. Uh, I meant loggers uh, in the yes. kingdom of loggers. Yes, yeah. correct. Okay, this is uh, in St. Albans, which is not far from Londinium, right here. <clears throat> I'm guessing the church hasn't still been built over there uh i think a church is in saint albans actually i don't think it's mm -hmm. like the, the cathedral set up but it, there is one yeah. mm -hmm. it's a it's a the death of a of a saint took place there or it's in honor mm -hmm. of the death of a saint i can't remember which all right So, one sec here. Just gonna go on break for a second.
we are back and let's go ahead and dive in. Now, uh, we're doing this old Albin's Feast. We're gonna uh, start it off with Barunius, who is near the salt. So the way we'll do this, we'll do this one at a time and we'll get to Edward. Uh, and then in round two, Edward will enter the feast. Right now, he's being looked after. Um, is Lady Gwen still in London, or is she here in St. Albans? That's a good question. I'm going to use the Mythic GM emulator to figure it out. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Four. Yes. I, I gave it 50-50, and it's standard chaos factor, and 54 would be, yep. It's never quite 50-50. Really so, yes. Uh, All right, then. Lady Gwyn is here. She is not... Well... Unless she crits, she won't be up above. Yeah, she didn't crit. So she'll be in the Bailey as well. Probably a All lot right. of the, a lot of the ladies are tending to um Me like they're, they're they're the ones with surgery, right? <laughs> and there's a lot of injured people here. So odds yeah. are she's not like feasting, she's probably running around. But you could easily catch her since the feasting's taking place all around the city, right? Nuns, yeah, but uh, close enough. Okay. Not just nuns, no. The ladies are, are... They would use everyone they physically could to try and bring everyone <laughs> back uh -huh, to the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people are injured. A lot, yeah. Like, a good chunk of the army has major wounds. Well, that means uh, St. Albans went as big as Badon, so uh, no surprise there. Yeah. All right. Uh, so. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, my surrogate brother died at this battle. On the wrong side of this battle, mind you. Um, and I found out my king has been not only treating, but allying with Saxons. And several sentry knights have, uh, have gone and, uh, gone with him to fight alongside Sax. I don't think I'm drawing feast cards. I think I'm just getting drunk. But I'm a very temperate person. All right, fair enough. Does that mean you're making an indulgent rule then? I'm trying to figure out how to make the indulgent roll actually count. Because I'm Indul very temperate. You can always uh, roll them against each other. Well, I would say in this case, there's actually an indulgent action. So you get to choose. I mean, in a feast, there's actually indulge, right? Um, yeah. If you fumble, what? temperate, or fail indulgent, you have overindulged on a drink. So that's really what you're testing. Yeah, I know. So I need to test uh, temperate and indulgent. No, you choose. You choose one. If you want to test them against each other, but you got to know the outcome. And I would say that, to be fair, in this moment, the reason why you're considering indulgent is because of what's happened. Are you in melancholy right now? Did you have? Did you go melancholic during the battle? No. No? Okay. So, if you wanted to make the decision for yourself, or, or not make the decision for your character, you could choose to roll Indulgent versus Temperate, but you know the outcome favors Temperate. Right? Yes. Like if you I'm want trying... to apply a penalty, you could do that. Why don't we do that? You, shit's happened. 
Uh, why don't we yeah. say minus three to temperate, plus three to an indulgent? If you don't want to make the decision. Otherwise, if you want to make the like, decision... I, the decision is, I want to get drunk. Like, Barunius is drinking heavily. Okay, make indulgent tests, then. That's all we need. That's all we need. Just straight up. Uh, this is gonna... Yep. Oh, this... Okay, Should... Failure. He, he can't succeed at this too well. <laughs> all right so this is this is you have overindulged so i'll give you the mechanics on that now uh, <clears throat> all right uh I believe you end up roaring drunk, but let me just make sure. Oh, this should be good. Really? Yeah, if you fail indulgent. So you indulge successfully, then you it's like you know how to handle yourself, I guess. And if you fail indulgent when doing an indulgent action at a feast, you become really, really indulgent. So uh, you overdo it. Uh, so if you fumble temperate or you fail indulgent, you have overindulged on drink and run the risk of public drunkenness. See, the drunk is a moose uh, section in chapter two. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, okay. One sec. It's a con roll, isn't it? I don't suppose Merlin is, is also in this timeline. Merlin is persona non grata for stealing the... Uh, what, one sec, one sec. Let's, uh, one sec. Let's do a folklore test. Okay. Uh, <laughs> for, for Edward. And, uh... Well, Edward's doing the folklore test. If I'm interpreting this correctly, actually, let me just. Leave. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to test some feasting. Okay. Wine will, of course, be served. Okay. Yep, my mouth's definitely watering. More drink. Just... Just checking something to make sure I interpret this successfully. Um. Let's see here. Do do do. All there's make this roll whenever more drink. Okay, uh, here's what we're doing. Uh, you chose to indulge, which means you went out of your way to get the wine. Uh, I need you to make an indulgent, indulgent roll, Brunius, plus 10. All right. So 
success. Twelve is just a success, so you are drunk, not roaring drunk. Cool. Um, if you critted, it would have been roaring drunk. You're a plus five to flirting, orate, lustful, reckless, indulgent, and valorous, and minus five to everything else. Fair enough. If you were roaring drunk, you would have been plus 10 to lustful, reckless, indulgent, and valorous, and minus 10 to everything else. <laughs> uh, so All right. That's, that's your, your ticket. Um, yep. Now you pass your, you failed your original indulgent roll, so you don't get geniality for it, but you don't necessarily make an ass of yourself. So you do end up with one geniality just for being near the soul. See if you One. Ah, ah, ah. Right? You get some. <laughs> Did you Being ever... drunk, it came with benefits. Right? Did we ever get the uh, glory for day two on Battle of St. Albans? Uh, was that outstanding? Did I forget to give that? I don't think day two has been calculated yet. Because that's for everyone. Yeah. Correct. It won't matter. Like, I just need to have it ready for yeah. the next year. Because it doesn't really apply till the next year anyways. So, for now, yeah, okay. good point, though. But, yeah, True. it's not there. All right. And with that, that's Bernice's action. So we go to Hrothgar. All right. I think Hrothgar is just having the time of his life. Uh, the large Baroque Saxon man is having a drink and singing a song about the death of the Saxons' kings. Something, something about them being children to whores and such things. Just really unflattering stuff. Uh, so I think he's just going to make an indulgent role. Just drinking the night away. Right, you're not looking to impress people with your voice. You're looking to just sing and drink. Gotcha. Yeah, that's true. It's not about this this the song. It's about just being drunk. Okay. Uh, make an indulgent test. That's a critical. <laughs> no, oh, boy. All right. You, I believe, that lands you at Roaring Drunk. Oh, my. Yes. That's I believe fitting. it would. So... Plus 10 to lustful, reckless, indulgent, and valorous, minus 10 to everything else. Perfect. And you get 10 glory, <laughs> but you, <laughs> don't get, you won't get an extra genealogy. <laughs> <laughs> I think then, yeah, he just continues his little song. And it's enough to uh, impress, or perhaps, the jeering of the other knights. Cursing the names of the Saxon kings. So you get 13 indulgent. Not 10 indulgent. Yes. Or 10, sorry, you get 13 glory. And glory. 13 glory. Yeah. All right. Um, perfect. You people recognize you now as that drunk Eric Saxon knight that was singing songs about other Saxons. It sort of stands out with people. <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did he really just say that about them? Uh, all right, and then uh, we'll go to Varus next. Varus is perhaps a bit more muted than probably most other knights here during the festivities. Um, but he is still trying to partake, so he is going to draw feast cards. And what's your glory right now? Do you get two? Uh, yeah, I get two. Oh boy, trouble. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. Bad luck, mate. <laughs> Any passion, my choice, or serving girl flirts, huh? Let's see. What do we got? That's what happens when you get all the knights together. Nothing good. Yeah, yeah. Pretty drunken knights. Um. Let's go probably, with the second one. You could probably link most bastards being born to approximately nine months after a victory. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah, I'll uh, I'll go with this one. Serving girl flirts one. Try that one. See what we got. So I got to roll flirting. 
choice. Yeah. So let's see. Here we go. Passed. You succeed. I did. The chase tonight Work. was good at it, apparently. All right. All right. So plus one geniality and a tick on flirting. All right. So you get three geniality. Yeah. All right. I'll take it. All right. That was the music. Need some uh, decent music. There we go. There we go. Yeah. All right. There we go. All right. So, Sir Edward, let's see. Mm -hmm. You're being tended to in surgery this moment, just getting out of it. Um, let's see. I don't, I still don't have like a lady. Um, I, I need to create a random lady chart, but what we're going to do is we're going to figure out who her father is. All right. Duran we of Tintagel. What? So that's Who's... Edward's dad. Uh, no. This is the dad of the lady that's tending to you right now. Uh, uh -huh. so, so the lady that's tending to you, her name is Lady Kinwin. Lady Duran. Kinwin, I think. Kinwin. Kinwin. Yeah. Kinwin. Hope she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I uh, mean, her dad is very chaste. It <laughs> might, there might be a reason for that. Oh, if the dad's is chaste, does, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean the daughter has to be. I mean, not a, at least not uh, not after I'm done with her. We shall see. <laughs> Seventeen appearance. Whoa. Damn. So that it's required hard. it to explode twice for it to get there. So yes. And she is we'll say she's Her boy, twenty she's one. Mine. She's twenty one. Uh, so she's uh she's a noble. Correct. Yeah. And most mm -hmm. of most people skilled in surgery are nobles. It's a level of education that your average commoner won't won't be able to attend to. But for ladies only. Uh it's a it's considered a lady skill or a pre like a priest could have it too, right? Priests, uh nuns, mm, ladies, yeah, yeah. that sort of thing. Monks, like not knights that, yeah. specifically. Don't have to mm, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually I I read about that if if a if a knight tries to use chirurgery, he loses uh, glory. He loses a lot of glory. So you made, um, you started with a question on Merlin. Uh, make a folklore test, please. Folklore test. Uh, or, yeah, yeah, over here. No modifiers? Uh, no modifiers. No. Okay. What you know nope. is that Merlin is said to be the son of the devil. He is to be killed or detained uh, if he's found. Though they tell people to be careful and use caution uh, because he's tricky. Um, you don't really know the source of that. You don't know exactly why. Everyone has the hate on for this man, but he is an uh, enemy of the state. So basically like a, uh, a invisible legend. Sort of. Yeah, he hasn't reared his head. Uh, you've never seen yeah. him, that's for sure. Um, okay. Now, you're limited in actions because this round you're being tended to. Uh, mm hmm so you could you could flirt with lady kinwin 
you could do an intrigue action with Lady Kinwin, um, or you could, um, you'd still have, well, no, you wouldn't have access to food yet. So I'd say those are the two things like intrigue would be, would represent you trying to find out any additional news or anything that's important. Um, uh, flirting obviously is an action that uh, yeah. plays, you know, plays itself, and everything else is you next round getting into the feast proper. <laughs> so, okay, uh, I don't suppose romance uh, also counts as an action. Uh, you can take a romance action after you flirt, I believe. If you flirt successfully, then you can begin to romance them. Yep. Uh, well, we'll start with intrigue. Yes. I mean, after all, I just met her. Is there anything you want to know about, specifically? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, since I'm gonna take it as that I've been knocked out, uh, or at least carried away out of the battle, uh, who I heard were victorious, and I want to ask her if any of our, how our knights are doing, how is King Uther and his uh, brave entourage of knights, and if she has any inquiry about my squire, especially. And so you said he uh, he wasn't found after the battle. Yes, correct. All right, go ahead and uh, give me an intrigue roll. Yes, sir. Okay. Nope. Uh, so she's very polite. She tells you that Uther is seems to be in lovely spirits, along with Prince Matic, and they're currently in the the mot um, proper with many of the lords of the land uh, they're basically they're celebrating and you can hear the town erupting with cele celebration around you as it hits nightfall um, so there's many nights moving around and about uh, she she kind of was like yeah you know your your squire hasn't been um, hasn't reported in yet but we're confident he will your failure to intrigue means that you don't know that he actually died <laughs> So, uh, your squire died, and you have no idea, and she does a pretty good job at, like, not giving you the bad news right now, if that makes sense. She's worried about your well-being, right? Um, and then... Where? Sarah, uh, uh, so, Edward uh, just nods and thanks her for uh, the information, and thanks her for not breaking the ice that bad, too. Okay, you can give yourself. Thank you, my lady. You can give yourself a mm -hmm. a D three health back. Actually, three health back is what I meant to say. Um, but you still need surgery because she doesn't do a terribly good job. She doesn't clean the wound enough. She thought she did, but she missed the a little bit of uh, debris, and it's gonna end up festering later on you. Um, nothing big, like you know, we're not gonna have you die or anything, but. You're going to need another surgery to check later um, after this feast. For now, you're patched up and you're good to, to join the feast. I believe so, because uh, if I'm at 28, and you said I took 16 points of damage. Right. And I got three back. That, that puts me at 15, I think. Correct. So you're in yeah. a good spot, but you still need the surgery. You still need to have the surgery needed okay. check on your sheet. So... Can I, can I also attempt a courtesy check to, uh, uh, since he's pretty wounded right now, he's trying to bow without looking so foolish, you know, with all the wounds that he's got. I'll allow it. It won't be worth um, geniality, but you can certainly do it in general. Uh, you know, uh, um, that's just to so he can keep his, yep. uh, keep his you know, noble appearance, you see? I'll, I'll allow it, yeah, absolutely. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, so she tells you're in pain, um, but she's also not going to stop you from going to celebrate. So she says to check in with her again later. Uh, uh, I shall keep that in mind. You have my gratitude, Lady Kinwin. Uh, 
I'll say that courtesy is he he was trying to kiss her hand uh, as things, but instead he kisses his own. <laughs> yeah, okay, that works, especially with the yeah, I'm good with it. Yeah, with the wounds and yeah. Okay, so uh, can I make my uh, way to the fe feast right now? Ah, uh, yes, yes you can. I'm just reloading because I'm having some trouble with your sheet. And get your sheet to load. I can do it. No, it's all good. I just want to check. Okay, so just a couple of things. Um, Edward cannot be set number one in. Pendragon, we don't allow people to start as vassal knights and open Pendragon. He could be a household knight. Okay. So if you want to make him the, the okay. spare, set number two, that's fine. Okay. And I'm comfortable with you being from Salisbury. Just want to verify you, you're you cool with that. Yeah, uh, I already put his homeland as Salisbury. I'm fine with that, yep. Yeah. As, a, as a spare, I'm perfectly okay with that, so... Uh, why, uh, should, should I, should I put him as a, uh, in another homeland? Nope, not, not required. Lots, we have almost no one from Salisbury in the game so far, so I think it's fine. Yeah, it's just, mm. though, I will probably reserve your brother as an NPC because, so I have a, a regular weekly stream game in Salisbury, <laughs> so, uh, and we're moving into Anarchy, so that'll be important. If you also want, want me to make that NPC, just give me the word. Yeah, sounds good. All right, so we are going to move forward into round two. Um, we're going to go to Bronius again. All right. <clears throat> oh. You know what? Sir Barunius has gotten sufficiently drunk. And, uh... And he is trying to make his way towards the, uh... The upper malt so that he can, like speak to King Uther and everything and, and do his whole surrender bit because he is technically a knight of uh, Malahut but uh, it, he's he's far away and he's kind of drunk I am pretty sure something happened along the way so I'm going to go ahead and take some cards and see what happened along the way okay thing in sensation or host calls for a hunt well, I kind of have to... <laughs> uh, no, actually, we deemed for Albans uh, because it was very, very hard to get uh, above the salt here and that's the only place there's a host. You can move that host card aside. Actually, you can't use it. Go ahead and use uh, pull another card. All right. Uh, can't be a host card. Keep going. Actually... Uh... I will allow you to pocket that for next round if you wanted to. Meet the host? Yeah. For round three if you want. Okay. Um I will pocket that. Okay. It means you can't you can't draw a card for next round. That's fine. Okay. Um So, by pocketing it, that's my action, and or I have to choose singing sensation. You you have to choose singing sensation for this round. All right. Uh, a group of ladies ask me to sing a love song. You know what this is? Uh, what's her name? Lady Gwen, right? Of yeah. I think this is some of Lady Gwen's friends. And they're they're sort of in the know, 
about this, about the two of you. So this is oh. this is them sort of teasing <laughs> slash, you know, putting you through a trial right now. And she's like, wants nothing to do with the extra tension here that this is bringing, right? But it's like, you, you're in a winless situation with it. You know what I mean? You're, you're kind of- Well then, of... I am going to try to impassion myself. Yeah. With love, uh, more Lady Gwen. Okay. And I fail. Makes sense. It's an awkward situation, right? So, um... So, He's got that liquid courage going, though. I do. Yeah. Like... Yeah, so you remember your plus five for flirting, or... What was it? Right. What was the plus flirting, five? Flirting, or eight, plus lustful, five. reckless, and indulgent, yep. and valorous, but minus five to everything else. Oh, oh boy. Including singing. Yep. Including singing is not one of them. Right. Oh. Yeah, correct. I am not rapping. I am singing. Well, <laughs> let's see. Let's see if you fumble here. Let's hope you don't. Minus three? <laughs> it would have been a one. You should never go below. Yeah. Um, yeah, but a 14 is still. Yeah. <laughs> Like I am, I am, I am bad. No fumble though. So it's just kind of like you entertained their game, but it wasn't a good performance. So they just kind of they laugh and move on, and you're alone. And uh, Gwen just gives you a look like she's busy too, right? But she gives yeah. you a look like I'm sorry that had to happen. She doesn't say it, but she gives you that look, and then can I get minus on. one geniality? Yep. Uh, for, for no, no, you get no, two. you don't. No, you no. good. You didn't fumble. You didn't fumble. Yeah. I, no, you're it was, right. It's only a fumble. I was reading a different card. Oh, and, okay. Hey, you are good to go. So you still actually get one geniality for the round for being near yourself. I'm so sorry, man. That was so smooth. <laughs> and I only get the extra geniality if I succeed, right? From the card. No, you get that automatically. Oh. Then I would get one more. Yeah, you get a second one. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Okay. <clears throat> we go back to Rothgar. Alright then. Now to figure out what Rothgar would be doing. Uh I feel like at this point there's not much else for him to do than draw cards. Or in his case, card. <laughs> he's draw, been in many battles, but he's the most yeah. A sip of wine. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, you share a goblet of wine with a lady. You make a toast to her. All right, roll. This isn't good. <laughs> it's gonna be at a minus ten. Yeah. Oh, is it really? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, he's, he's roaring, roaring drunk. drunk. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, right. roaring it's drunk. funny because if you're just drunk, you get a plus five to all right. Yep. <laughs> Yep. Uh, roll a one. Oh, oh that, was... that was wrong. Oh. Wow. Either way, didn't roll a one. Yeah. He is articulate for for a barbaric Saxon. <laughs> hey, he's not that barbaric. <laughs> it's Ferris a... likes that guy. He's pretty pretty barbaric though. No, <laughs> no, that's true. I imagine he like makes some comment about her appearance or her ass or something, and I, it doesn't I, go down in a flattering way. This card's worth two, even if you fail. That's pretty big. Like yeah. Over. It's that's... worth four if you crit. If you uh, crit. Yeah. yeah. I imagine it, it gets a laugh from some of the other knights. Even yeah. though it wasn't meant to. <laughs> wasn't a laughing moment, but man, people will remember you for it. That seems to be your, your shtick right now. So funny yeah, enough, you're actually like more. leading it right yep. now. <laughs> All right. All right. Like you said, at least it wasn't a fumble. Yeah, and that is, sure. if, if we want to log these things just for purposes, what I'm going to start doing in all the games is given names and then if people track them you know that can be seen as important um mm. so i'll give you i'll give that lady a name for you uh
A Bronwyn. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Bronwyn of Hampton. Hampton yeah, County. Yeah. So, daughter of Ainian. <laughs> 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 the way it sounds like the daughter of onion. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right, we're we're back to various now. So, it's all there's a bunch of like wounded knights and stuff that are still at the feast. They're not like needing surgery, but they're still tending their wounds and stuff like that, right? There are knights that aren't really at the feast, but they're all, they're around town basically in in like oh, okay. a series of infirms or med bay okay. kind of setup. And that's where then like, there's the different ladies and stuff are at too yeah, for there, the that are tending to them. There's also camp outside, like there's people outside of which would be like right. the, the below the salt. You'd actually be outside the walls. Um, okay. There are some infirms out there where people that are a bit more important and they didn't want to move are out there so right uh well i'm not going to give you any names because those are intrigue things but there are right. some important right. important people out there as well um is there a way that i could i think it's the testing the temperance or whatever to help the host or whatever with uh making sure everyone's tended to that there's something you can do with that Yep. Uh, yes. Yes. Attempt roll. Okay, so Vera should probably try to do that inside the uh, what is it, the Bailey that we're at right now, the, inner, the outer area. Yeah, it's like taking care of everyone else, making sure. Yeah, that people so around he's you, gonna, around you. Yeah, so he's gonna try to do that and try to focus on um, helping make sure that the ladies that are tending to all the wounded are making sure they're getting food and stuff, and drink. Okay. I like that. Yeah, give me Temp a temper rule. Um, could I impassion with hospitality for that? Yes. Okay. Let's see if it actually works, though. It does. And don't forget your geniality five. for this one, too. Oh, on the roll? Okay. Yeah. And that's a plus five there. And three for the geniality. Past. All right. Done. Oh, plenty on temperance. Just making sure everyone's getting a little bit of the feast. Indeed. So you get the Something one for temperance, kinda... one near yeah. the soul. Yep. It's kind of his thing. He does this at most feasts, at least one round. Give me an awareness check, Barris. Okay. Uh, does the geniality count on that or no? Uh, I just don't remember what counts for the geniality. I'm gonna say no. Okay. Case. But yeah, passed. I was about to say you're still impassioned anyway. So with hospitality, you think you see a familiar face? Um. No. Oh, okay. Uh, I forget her name. You probably want to record it, but the the lady from Summerlin, the one that you... Yeah, I have it recorded. Okay. Yeah, she's... What's her uh, name that's uh, Bryn, daughter of David of Summerlin. Okay, yeah. So she's... You think you see her, like, going to one of the tents. She's, she, too, is tending to people here. So. Okay. Yeah, it's fair to say that Varys would go and check on her. Okay. Uh, I'll paste that in there. All right. Uh, we're going to have Edward make an app roll. Should be good. Four thirteen. So you two are in near the salt. Put you over here for mm -hmm. now. I'm here enjoying the feast. Indeed. So now you get a full range of actions. You can intrigue, you can game, you can flirt, 
you can um, pull cards. You only get one because of your glory level right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Am I missing one, guys? Intrigue. You can intrigue. Yeah. Uh, or you can temper it uh, or indulge it, which is like you can indulge as the action, which is like you choose to either drink or what, what Varys did where it's like, I'm going to make sure everyone else is looked after. Right. Uh, well, uh, for this one, I'm going to uh, attempt a uh, Valorous check in, uh, uh, in congratulating, uh, congratulating the knights on their victor uh, glorious victory and raising a cup in their name. Uh, that will not be a Valorous check. So you can do something like that. Usually that would be like a card that you would pull from the feast deck. Um, a feast in the Book of Feasts, we're using Book of Feasts, which is a little more granular to what your actions are. So your actions are to uh, indulge, which involves a temperament or indulge. You can feast or um, you can um, intrigue. You can pull a card, you can game, or you can flirt. Okay, uh, let's see now. I think what I'll do is uh, do the same as, as Sir... Uh, Varys? Uh, uh, Varys, Varys, with the, uh, with the indulgence. Is making, sh uh, making sure that... Um, uh, that all knights uh, are being t taken care of, as well as try uh, trying to um, converse w w with the majority without looking too much wounded, you know? Yep, okay. Or, or at least... Right. Okay, that will be a temperate roll. So, let's try temperate. Right? Success? Ooh, nice. Uh, so you're looking after the knights that you end up sitting next to, making sure they're taken care of, and uh, it's noticed. Uh, you'll get two geniality to yeah. for that. Also giving them words of words of encouragement and and congratulating them on, on their honor, valor, and bravery. Noted. Yeah, so that's kind of um, how it's going so as you're you know using the opportunity to make sure they're looked after you're also kind of pepping them up and I think that that goes well enough uh, because you haven't had many roles and this is kind of your first time ever make sure you tick temperate uh, you can tick app or wait you never mind you can't tick uh, those anyways uh, I'll give you a valorous test as you mentioned okay. before. Uh, only temperate yeah yeah okay It, no crits, so we're not going to give you a tick on that, but you can make a courtesy roll as well. Okay. Hopefully, we do better than the last time. Alright, you can tick can courtesy. Okay. Alright. No, and not Valorous. Not Valorous, correct. Typically, if it's a valorous action or something where I call for it, then I might give you a tick on it if you don't crit. But typically, it requires a crit to automatically get a tick. So okay. That's kind of how I play it's it out. Valorous, C, and, uh, and appearance. Okay. okay. All right, guys. Is oh, uh, sorry. What's up? Uh, no, no, no. I was, uh, I was uh, saying, uh, am I uh, with the... Uh, these um, uh, party of uh, feasts, or am I with uh, Varus, uh, Renius, and Hrothgar over here? Effectively, as far as where you're placed, you're kind of anywhere in the Bailey, right? It's kind of when you're near the salt, it means you're anywhere in the Bailey. If you're below the salt, you'd be outside the walls. Mm -hmm. If you were above the salt, you'd be welcome to the um, to the mont. Uh, with the king. Yeah. And if you're the on king. the floor, like, you 
you don't need, you're not in any of the camps. Like, <laughs> you're not really welcomed. Or you're sitting on the floor in the bailey kind of thing. Like, you know, you're with the dogs and squires, basically, is what on the floor is. So you're, you're in the bailey, in other words. Um, so any of these people are people you can socialize with in your rounds. Um, but we okay. are, we're going to take a, like a few minute break. I just need to make a quick snack before I run out of time here. I need the blender to run. It's going to get too late. So I'm going to do that now. We'll be back in five and fit, uh, we'll, we'll move to the last round of the feast. We'll be back. All right.
All right, <clears throat> we are back. Let us dive into the rest of this here. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna do this in a slightly different order. Uh, I'll start with all four of you making a recognize roll. Geniality counting or no? Nope. Okay, just double checking. Yeah. I failed. I passed. I'll definitely fail, but we'll see. Definitely a fail for me. I knew it. <clears throat> so right. close. So, uh, we're gonna go in reverse order for this round. I'm gonna start with Edward. Final round. Uh, what would you like to do in the okay. final round? For the feast. Let's see. What, what will I want to do in the final round? With Lady Kenwin. Okay. Uh, but first, uh, let um, I will. Uh, uh, am, am I walking with uh, Berenius uh, uh, and uh, nope. Rothgar? It's, and... it's a very loose kind of concept, right? So it's like you're in. You're near the salt, you can roam around anywhere in the Bailey and interact with anyone in the Bailey, kind of thing. So it every round of the feast represents like an hour's time, so it's like or 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 really it's probably longer than an hour. It's like a, a non uh specific amount of quote long time, right? So a three round feast is a night of feasting. Right, so you're in the second um, round of this three-round feast. That's kind of the idea. Okay, um, I'm just thinking of uh, if, if, if I can like do something first to give a modifier to flirting. I I can either you can, uh, you can passion yourself. Passion your. And you have two geniality oh, uh, going into it. Okay, good. Uh, I don't suppose there's a card for that, uh, right? Correct. There is. Yeah. You, a card is a gamble. You pull a card, you see what happens. If you want to do that, that'll be your whole action for the round. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By impassionate yourself, like, uh, roll for passion? Yes, correct. Uh, you, so that's a... A love or a more? Mm, probably not, because you probably don't have that passion for anyone specific yeah. right now. Uh, you could do hospitality, you could do love family, you know, you could do loyalty lord under the premise that having young knights is probably going to be needed here in the future. You can do any of those things. Uh, it, mm. You might want to ask yourself what would, what would be your passion here and honor sure might play into honor. what you're willing to pull, go through with but yeah if you passion yourself yep yeah uh, sure uh, honor honor sounds uh, makes sense since Perfect. uh yeah all right go ahead and roll it okay so with that you're gonna get a plus five to your roll and you're gonna get Plus two to geniality, so a total of seven will be your modifier. Are you you're going uh, flirting, Lady Kenwin? Uh, yeah, uh, with Lady Kenwin. You said that's a plus five to plus seven oh, modifier. Yeah. Plus seven. All, yes. all seven done. Okay. Seven modifier and let's flirt with my lady. Oh, look at that! Great. Nailed it. <clears throat> nice. Okay. Well, it goes off splendidly. Um, I want you because it's a crit. I need you to make 
a uh, chaste versus lustful roll. Your chaste will be impassioned by your honor, and your lustful will have a negative. So, so just to put this out there, chaste roll plus five, lustful roll minus five. You chose I the right choose passion. <laughs> uh, no, chaste roll plus okay. five, lustful roll minus five. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, like a, a well, good thing I chose honor then. Yeah, hundred okay. percent. If you didn't, you wouldn't yeah. be making this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but uh, I'll, I think I'll go for chaste. You're still rolling. Trying to keep... You're oh. gonna roll both. So chase roll plus oh, five, see. and then less roll minus five. Less roll minus five. Okay, so yeah. first chase. Okay, so only less roll can only beat that if it crits. <laughs> so let's see. This should be good. All right. All right. Nope. Nope. All right. So um. Do you intend to turn that into uh, a romance? Is that the intention in the long run? Well, uh, if Edward's intention was to like a, open a a way to court her, you know. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I will give you because you critted the flirt. Um. I'm going to give you a tick into flirting, and I'm going to give you an automatic uh, Amor roll. So now, uh, please give me a 3d6 roll. Yes, sir. 3d6. All right, so you're starting with an Amor of 9 for Lady Kinwin. As a, pa as a new passion. Lady Kinwin. Uh, the the oh, mechanics uh, say that if you're ever to seal that deal with, like, if you sleep with her at any point, that becomes uh, love automatically. Right now, it's more of love. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, what do you Which say a, about romance, though? Uh, I think. I think. I'm not. Right? I'm not going to give you a tick on it. I'm going to bypass. I was going to make you roll romance, but you critted flirting, so you don't even have to roll okay. romance. You just. Okay. Um, and you're gonna you're gonna tick okay. flirting, which I uh, just did. Hey guys, I think I got her. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that seems to be going well for you. Um, you're in a, a place where you could potentially have a wife, uh, mm -hmm. should you want one. So. All right. Mm. Continuing in reverse oh, uh order. Yeah. Yeah. What? Sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I I forgot to uh, don't mean to interrupt you guys, but uh, I was also thinking if I could make a recognized check to see what's her status, if she's an heiress or a daughter of a knight, if I if I know her father like that, or we can save that for for the ending after everybody's done his thing. Oh, I'm good. Please uh, go ahead and make a recognize roll. Um, I don't... Okay. You can use your honor, but I don't think I'll give you the geniality for this one. It's either honor or recognize. I'm recognize honor. plus five for your impassioned right now with honor this round. So recognize yeah. roll yeah. plus five. Yes, sir. Uh, l last roll, guys. I promise. Sorry. Yeah, you're good. Don't worry about it, man. Take your this time. is a role playing. Yeah. Yeah, man. We're good. It's the way the system works. Okay. Nope. Uh, with I a think so. with a failure, you know she's not common born. You know she's noble, but you don't know anything beyond that. Is she the daughter of a knight? A daughter of a banneret? Daughter of a esquire? You're not sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. All I know is that she's got a, she, uh, she's hot, uh, and I got. <laughs> and you, you know where she's from too, right? Um, so. I think so. From uh, from Salisbury, from uh, the same. Uh, nope, region. Tintagel, Tintagel County, in Cornwall. Where she's from. I see. Duran, 
Uh, her father is Duranwi of Tintagel, and she's Lady Kenwin of Tintagel. So, yeah, basically her father is a knight, and she's... Uh, not, not necessarily a knight. Well, uh, well, he's mostly a noble. Yes, he's a noble. a noble. Yeah. She is for sure noble, um, but not necessarily a knight. It could be an esquire. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Perfect. Good stuff, man. All right. And that can continue into the later years of your character if you end up playing Open Pendragon longer. Uh, so. Which I intend to. Okay, there you go. Okay, uh, your guys, sorry for taking time. You're good. Uh, that's, that's part of the game. We enjoy that. That is part of the game. Yeah, man. It's yeah. all good seeing what the other players do. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to move to Varys next. Right. What do you like to do, Varys? Um, well, I passed that one recognized role, so did I get anything from that, or is it just something? Uh, to... Just something to note for later, yep. All right, okay, that's cool. Yep. Uh, Varys is going to go check in with Bryn, since he thought he saw her. Just check to see how she's doing, catch up. That's it. Okay. Nothing crazy. So I don't know what you want me to roll for that. Uh, <clears throat> what's your intentions? Flirt, intrigue? Uh, do you want to know more stuff about her? You just look into be temperate, um, give her some food. What do you, what do you want to do? Yeah, I mean, it could you start as game being. With her? <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, it'd probably start off as temperate since he was on the rounds. You know, when he, he saw her, but um, yeah, maybe some flirting. See what happens. Okay. I mean, that can be you know food. I mean, they already it's, they already hit it off flirting. before. Here, have a cheeseburger. Um, no. Um, yeah, you know, because, I mean, they already had a previous, like, uh, favorable interaction before, so. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right. Uh, why, don't, why don't we make this a flirting roll up front? Okay. We'll, um, obviously, your geniality you're getting from being temperate will apply uh, okay. to the roll. All right. I'm just going to go with that. I'm not going to impassion or anything because, yeah. That's fair. He's being temperate. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. All right. Awesome. All right, so uh, she looks really happy to see you, because I think it's been a couple of years, right? Yeah, it's been a while yeah. since we were over there. And I think... Um, I think she kind of forgets herself for a minute and like gives you a hug and just yeah it's more out of like i'm glad you're alive kind of hug you know what i mean right like, right yeah um and she's like how how are things they're going pretty well all things considered how are you doing I look like you were pretty busy yeah give me like a Give me an intrigue test. This isn't, you know, geniality yeah. won't apply because it's not it's a, like I, Yeah, it's just kind of like a general read. Yeah. I passed. For once. Ah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's like, things, things are well. Things, you know, things are well. You can tell. Like, I think if you failed the intrigue, I was going to say that you can't really get a sense of what, but you feel like her answer is a little off. Um... I, I think w what you're able to kind of realize is that the this these particular tents are full of like um, filled with Summerlanders, right? Right. And um, in this particular case, whoever's tent she just walked out of probably didn't make it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Then. Uh... Yeah, it's fair to say Varys to try to, if he can, just get her to take a break. Yeah. Just, she looks he's happily a, distracted, right? Like, yeah. 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 Try to take her mind off things. Okay. Yeah. All right. So with a plus five, but without your geniality, mm -hmm. uh, you can, if you want to turn this into a romance, you can. Yeah, give it a shot. Yeah, so... Plus five because you succeeded at the flirting. Um, okay. And you can 
passion yourself if you want, but not not the geniality. Um. Actually, you know what? Um, I think the plus five is your geniality. <laughs> I think that's where it's okay. coming from. Yeah. It's okay. Like, and what am I rolling? Is it the the romance, romance check? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't really have anything that I would impassion with this. Not yet, anyways. So okay. I'm just gonna go and give it a shot at the very slim chance that it is, and see where what happens. Sounds good. Yeah, no. Go for it. You won't know un until you try. Yep, yeah. exactly. It's just you're. You know what it is? It's kind of like you stop yourself. I think in this moment, like, it's, it's a bad place. time. It's yeah, not appropriate. Yeah, yep. you're like you're like I really want to. Well, you know. Yeah, no, it's just not there. It's not. Yeah, not, it's not time. Yeah, it's not exactly. the situation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but uh, she, you know, she tells you things are going mostly well, and it, you can good. tell there's some sincerity there. And she seems right. generally excited to see you. So keep that in yeah. your back pocket. Uh, you get that tick on flirting. Don't forget that. And then yeah, I already had the one from before. So yeah. Oh. Yep. From this year. Uh, I just got it tonight. And my previous feast cards from the serving girl thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. So yeah. Uh, am I correct? I didn't already give you geniality, did I? Or did no, I? No, you did not. I was at five. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You can barely see your your card now. No. I know he's basking in the <laughs> geniality. Here's what a we'll little do. Merc knight. We'll do this. There, there you go. go. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it better with the portrait all hidden. Though. Right. There we go. <laughs> I'm all blinged so five, out. Five, six, seven now. Right? Is what you're at. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're back to Hrothgar. All right, uh, for Hrothgar, uh, I imagine there's not many priests nearby to argue with, uh, so I think instead he's going to draw a card. Ooh, well dressed. A lady huh. passes by and comments on your clothing. Roll fashion. This is not going to go well, considering his like fashion said, is a, a whole zero. Until you try. All right, roll fashion. Not at all. That is a fail. So nothing happens. I think it's probably because. Uh, Brothgar is probably just dressed in his armor. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> it's probably still covered in blood. Uh, you would have had actually a 5 for a threshold this amount. You could apply geniality for fashion. Uh, no, but I still have a negative of minus 10. Because I'm roaring drunk. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. 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 You yeah. know what? I think you got some food stains and stuff on your... On your yeah, head. it's all stuck food. in his beard and everything. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> 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 maybe maybe some wine stains also on the beard. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Alright, so there's only two more for him. One for the card, one for being near the soul. Right? Okay. Uh, two for the card, one for near the soul? Is that what you said? Uh, no. One for the card, one for near the soul, two total. Okay. So not bad, not bad. Not bad for the the famously below the salt, uh, the Saxon that argues with priests. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You know what's no, really very... sad is I was gonna interrupt you, but I had myself muted. I was gonna interrupt you and be like, "No, there are priests here at St. Albans," but it's okay. Um, I mean, that oh, would have uh... been pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Rothgar. Next time. The priest arguer. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I don't they, get this fight. They call him Rothgar Priest Priest Bane. Like, <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that actually makes sense. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That would that would be amazing. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
Uh, with that, we're going to go to Brunius. And Brunius was making his whole way up, uh, trying to make his way up to the Mont, yes? He was trying to, yes. Yeah. Uh, um, and I have... Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I have the uh, Meet the Host card in my back pocket. Sounds good. Um, all right. I was just sorry. I was just responding to Trent. Trent's like, I can come in late. I'm like, ah, you're so close to like things that I think I'm just gonna do something for. I'm gonna let the others uh, run through this kind of as well. It's busy mm -hmm. enough, right? Like, so yeah. We'll just have oh, to yeah. say like, it's kind of first come first serve. Like we can't overrun. Anything that happened on, on the Sunday game can't be overdone. Anything that happens here can't be overdone. So, um, or exactly. overturned. Yeah. Um, Barunius, you get stopped on your way. Like, there are two guards that stop you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I am Sir Barunius of Malahut. <clears throat> they kind of look at each other. Uh, the one's like, what did you just say? I am Sir Barunius of Malahut. <laughs> leader <laughs> of the... One, one of the leaders of the vanguard of St. Albans. <clears throat> they look and at each I... other confused and... The one knight speaks up and says, For what side exactly? Answer carefully. <laughs> I helped ensure that my brother died upon the field of battle. May God have mercy on my soul, but I come to surrender, or I come to surrender. For while I perform great deeds, I am still but an enemy. All right. I think they look at each other, and it's about this time that someone kind of walks out of the feast. Um, one sec. Now you're drunk, but you do yes. have geniality. I do. It's going to be a minus two, plus three, plus six total. All right. Uh, so I will allow you to make a heraldry roll plus one. It's going to be a plus all one right. all, all of a sudden. Like, your bonuses are going to offset. Hey, look at that. All right, take care of Hey, I recognize it. Yes. Okay. Um, and I it. You see a Mur you see Murray, a cask argent. A silver cask on a maroon field. You know this, uh, this person. You actually met them in London over the last year. Um, I think because... They kind of confess a little bit to you. They they have this love for this Lady O'Leary. They didn't go too much on who Lady O'Leary is, um, but just that, um, just that things weren't good. That he was in pursuit of her, and it looks like she might have uh, been seduced, according to him, anyways. Seduced, right? Um. Ah, yes. Hello. Uh, he looks at you and he smiles. Hello there. And he just kind of continues. Um, he is the royal butler. Uh, give me an 
intrigue roll. Make sure you count your drunk. All right. Let's see. Intrigue. Minus five. Plus three. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, this this should be good. Nope. I don't Whatever. understand. Yeah, he just he just kind of smiled at you and continued on. Um, you uh, you hear I something, hear... <clears throat> or I you can continue. Something. Indeed, I'm not even gonna make you test awareness, but the others, I want you all to test awareness with your appropriate modifiers. Geniality, not counting, of course. Okay. Honestly. Okay. You don't have to test. Your proximity allows you to know this. Just missed it. Oh, so so close. Oh. Ed Edward, close. you know, you're you're busy uh flirting at the moment and <laughs> that is on your mind. I think Rothgar, you do find that priest that you've always wanted to argue with. There yes. He is. There he is. <laughs> yeah. Um I, I for Varys, you're going to hear this as well, but you're obviously not you're not anywhere near the mot when this takes place. Right. Bernius, you hear screams from the mot. One, then another, then another. Shouting. The guards look at each other, and they draw their weapons, and they start to move towards the mot. They don't seem to be worried about, like, intercepting you at this point. No, I'm moving in with them. I don't, I, I, this is a feast. I wouldn't necessarily carry my sword with me, but I'm moving in with them. Yeah. As you reach the door, you see a body toppled over. It looks like vomit. Make an awareness test. It's flat. Uh... Varys, make sure you take awareness if you don't have a tip. Okay, I will. Awareness flat. Uh, drunk and bu drunk uh, included? Uh, yes. Success. Ticket. Well done. You smell the vomit, which is not a pretty sight, but you smell blood, too. As you enter into the hall, you hear one of the guards that was in front of you, and they're like, My god. You see the entire feast. Every person here is collapsed. All of them on the ground. What? Things just got a lot creepier. So You can make a recognized rule plus 10. Okay. I succeed. 
I'm gonna give you somebody uh, who I believe you know. I just gotta find them, excuse me. Forget their name. There's three of them. They are semblant of the color brown. <laughs> uh, and I just oh. gotta find the right one. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Gotta find the actual logo for him. Give me a second here. I'm guessing all those knights with the red dot above them are wounded. Correct. You see, Sir Segarind, one of the knights of the Castle Brown. I rush over. Is he still breathing? Is he still alive? He is, for a second. His eyes look at yours. It's like he can't breathe. You see in his hand a cup. He's gripping it tight. No. And in a moment, his life is extinguished. You see his eyes go straight. So what I'd like to do <clears throat> is I'd like to test trusting versus suspicious. Um, because for the most part, I don't know, but it's possible the uh, butler did it. Go ahead and make it trusting versus know. suspicious. Please do. So. Please do so. All right. Oh, come on. And, uh, suspicious. All right, so tie means you get to choose. You can simply allow the higher number, but I always allow for successes. Uh, if both succeed, our, our house rule is you may choose. Um, if both fail, I get to choose. That's our general like house rule uh, when we compare traits for decisions. Um, but you can always go, I don't want to choose. I'm just going to go with a higher number. That's also your option, right? The higher success. Okay, so they both succeeded. I have a feeling it's the butler. Okay. So I so I'm does that mean suspicious a, wins? So suspicious is gonna win. Okay, I need you to tick it, and you remember him complaining about a Sir Galhut, the Brown. Now that's not the man you're standing over, but no. it is his lord. Yep. So. Um. So. I'm. So, Brunius stands. After Brunius closes Sir Segarit's eyes, stands and just makes a beeline for the butler. You start to make your way outside, and there are a number of knights coming this way, one of which I presume is Cerverus. Is that accurate? Because you did hear the screaming? 
Uh, he would have as soon as he was sure that uh, Lady Bryn was going to be safe where she was at. Yeah. yeah, makes sense. So Varys and a number of unnamed knights arrive coming up the way. You're basically so, on the steps going back down in the bailey, because uh, that's yep. where the butler went. All right. Um, so I'd like to grab one of the guards that stops me. Like, grab him, pull him up, tell him that he needs to find the butler now. He looks confused. And then he remembers. You're right. Get him now. Um. And then we're gonna have you. And, then we're gonna have Varys and and Brunius interact. I think he runs off with that. All right. Varys, good. It seems that the entire feast has been poisoned up here. One of the other knights says, what do you mean, poison? Where's the king? I'm... He is at the table. One of the knights like goes to else blow there, past you, charges I in. I don't even get in his way. Yeah. I am keeping Varys here, though. Yeah. Because I'm not but... trying to shout the king is dead. Right, right, right. Yeah. Again? The royal butler. The butler? You think he's the one who did this? It's the only lead I've got. Is there anyone was... still alive inside? One sec, gonna pause that for a second. Yeah. Drax. Yeah. I need a... Uh... Hmm. Recognize rule, I'm gonna give you a plus 10. Uh, sorry. Take that back. Take that back. Okay. Heraldry roll plus 10. Heraldry plus 10, okay. Okay. You can take Heraldry for that. Alright. You realize that you were feasting not very far from the royal butler. You remember his his coat of arms, the the cask on on the field. Yeah, you're almost sure that you saw him out there like not long ago. In fact, just before you would run into Lady Bryn. Right. Um, he was out in the bailey, not in the mont. Right. Okay. It couldn't have been the butler. I don't know who you saw. The butler was over in the bailey where I was helping tend to some of the other knights and ladies in the feast. He literally smiled at me as we were, as I was walking up to see the king. He cannot be in two places at once. There's not enough time that you couldn't have seen him here and have him still there. You're right. We need to round up everyone flying the that heraldry right now. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna take a quick look at uh, Edward and Rothgar. You start to hear shouting and screams uh, coming down the way. The king has been poisoned. Our lords of Logos have been poisoned. Everyone is dead. God. Um. What does Edward do in this uh, moment? Looks like it's about to get real chaotic, real fast in Holden's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, um. Uh. This point on, as soon as King, uh, uh, as soon as Edward hears of the king's fate, he he rushes. Uh, 
rushes straight forward into the king's uh, location and tries to see the commotion, if, he, if he's really dead or not. Noted. So you're going to head up. Yep. Awesome. Uh, he first excuses himself from Lady Kainwin and he rushes forward into where, uh, where the, the king's location and to see if if the, uh, the, the news is right or not. Okay. Uh, Hrothgar would just sigh and go, for Odin's sake. Oh, for Woden's sake. And just pour out the drink he has currently. And I think he's gonna, like, march up to anyone that he recognizes being in charge and being like, I still haven't been fucking paid yet. What's going on? <laughs> You're like, hold on a minute. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, let's get right to this. I did this for money. Where's my pay? <laughs> Where's my I money? Mean, I mean, he's not wrong. I didn't I mean, sign up for the dead king. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> Bears has just got too much of the old uh, courtesy, though. Noted. Also, At least Rooney is kind of one. Rooney is kind of way late him immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Edward, we'll we'll pan in on you for a second. Um you managed to make your way up the stairs um and into the mot. Now you're starting to get you're starting to see that they're organizing now and they're trying to get like onlookers and others that could distract the any sort of like uh what took place here they're trying to get them out of here but you have a minute to look around like you're the last one allowed in before they start cutting people off okay uh, uh this point on give me a recognize uh, sorry, roll. sorry go okay, give me a recognize roll i will give you your geniality as a bonus so you can okay, add five so I can... okay Let's recognize plus five. Okay. That was for something oh, for. It's okay. It was for something for me. It takes you a while to look around. Surely every noble is here. You see what must be King Uther, having not seen him directly too much in your day. Um, but you see the crown, laying right beside his dead corpse an old and withered man a look of almost sadness in his eyes that are now frozen open old look of death Edward immediate, immediately gets uh, gets like an expression of disdain and despair uh, and says out loud you're responsible for this who has caused our king's death? You hear someone say, Merlin. Merlin did this. This was magic. Sorcery from the devil himself. Now, I'd like to remind you of your folklore role, so I'm going to get you to make a um, suspicious role. Or trusting role. Let's do a trusting role. Let's do a trusting. Yes. Alright. Sure sounds like something Merlin could do. Son of the devil and all. Mm -hmm. You can add a tick to trusting. Okay, uh, with the... Uh, and uh, Edward turns into this, uh, into whoever the voice belongs to, and he said, Merlin, Magi that evil w wizard, uh, everyone is afraid of speaking his name, did this? What purpose? <laughs> One of the knights says, he betrayed our king long ago. 
and for that he was banished. Hunted. It must be him. Mer Merlin will pay dearly for this. One, one day, he shall face judgment and ju justice. Um, can I? I make an array check, to, like inspire a bunch, uh, a number of knights to like. Uh, inspire them to uh, like actually no I'm uh, not inspire I, I wanna I also uh, want to do another recognized check to see if there's anybody that's suspicious looking uh, like uh, he's, he's sort of uh, uh, glad that this uh, situation happened or that he doesn't look that he's faking to be sad or, or grief that the king's dead. So what you always want to do in this game, um, in general, I think when you play with anyone, is you're not you're not looking to inform me what you're testing for. You're looking to inform me what your actions are. So you want to say, I would like to look for someone that if anyone here appears suspicious, and then what I'll do is I'll tell you what to test based on what you say. If that makes sure. sense. Yeah, sure, but, so, uh, but that's my intention right now. Yeah, please make an intrigue roll. Yes, sir. No one gives you bad vibes. You get the mm. sense that all these people are in mourning. This is a really awful thing to see. Uh, none of these people look like they died pain-free. Look like they got to almost like suffer for a while and here's another thing um edward also uh, even though we uh, he heard some the knights say that merlin probably did this he's got a second voice inside his mind that says it was definitely the saxons who else <laughs> okay fair enough what's your hate saxon uh, 16. Uh, that makes sense. I'll just give you a tick. I'll give you a tick on Saxon. Hate Saxon. Great one. <laughs> okay, because, yeah, well, let's put it this way. Both of his grandfather and father were killed by Saxons. So anything bad happens, he always puts it at the Saxons. Instead of, yeah. instead of the butler. Even uh, if he looked suspicious. A lot of people you just knew and loved died today. Including... Your lord, who's not dead, Roderick is in infirm right now. He is not recovered from a major wound yet. Okay. So you have all the reason to hate Saxons. Um, mm -hmm. Saxons. We're gonna we're gonna zoom back in to the Bailey as Rothgar, Bronius, and Varys start to form in the same general area. You see. The butler, Sir Dioncar, has been pulled together, like pulled, basically um, rounded up uh, and secured, and they're kind of bringing him to the center of the town now. He looks that, uh, really startled. Is that the face of the man that smiled at me as I was going in? 100%. Hmm. <clears throat> Queen Homage Uther. Varys is already moving towards his butler. Oh, yeah. Turtle, and uh, he's already belting out. That's not him. It most certainly is him. No, it's not. I literally watched this man leave just before all the screens. I understand that, Barunius. But he couldn't have been there because he was right near by where I was at. He, he couldn't, couldn't have been, been over there if he was literally on the steps moments before the screaming started. Mere moments. 
I understand. That's what I'm saying is that there's no way he could have been there. And there's no way he could have been anywhere else. I think at which point you guys would both hear the yelling of Hrothgar's yeah. someone grabbed by like the armor and he's like, Where is my god's damn payment? <laughs> Yeah, and you know what? I think we're gonna we're gonna close here, but Albin's becomes a shit show, like an absolute yeah. shit show, as we uh, well, we close the Age of Uther with the yeah. death of Uther, and we begin anarchy. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff, guys. Paris uh, uh, is. Fun. Seriously, interest. just trying to keep that guy from being like completely just lynched in the middle of Tile Square right now. Yeah. yeah. Even though he can't he can't explain what just happened because he knows what he saw. He is not executed, but he will be taken captive. Right. Uh with the purpose Most of being tried and likely will be executed. <laughs> like, of being executed at a later time. I'm yeah. sure he yeah. will, but I I'm Varys is still gonna talk out about that. He can't let that go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He'll, def- that he'll, he'll try to defend the guy the best he can, but no one's going to listen to him, I'm sure. <laughs> Something tells me that Hrothgar is most anxious to be the executioner if he is guilty. If he gets paid. Hrothgar. If he gets Hrothgar paid. Hrothgar is anxious to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Varys is basically at that point, too, but his conscience is getting in the way right now. Like, Barunius was there to surrender. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Mm-hmm. At uh, this point, I, I just gonna get Rothgar. Please give me a selfish test. <laughs> All right. This should be fun. This should be good. Imagine if he gets a critical. Yeah. Be awesome. That'd be great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Ransack. Do I have the? The negative to this? No. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yes. You're coming up short on your money, right? But you actually, like, as things start to erupt into chaos and you're not getting what you need, you see um, an opportunity. You walk by one of the infirm beds and you watch a knight, a wealthy one, take his last breath. It's a nice stowed away convenient place. I'd like to suggest that Rothgar takes the opportunity to yep. take his armor. He's not going to need it. All, any, of, any of the things that are worth a considerable amount, maybe his horse as well. Yep. Wow. And Hrothgar would get the fuck out of there. Yep. Does Rothgar have Don't. honor? Uh, he does. Okay. He is particularly honorable. I think it drops by one. All right. Oh my god. No, that's not bad. Rothgar did the right thing. Paris <laughs> <laughs> would, <laughs> would have done the same thing, and he's basically even split on the honest, deceitful thing too. So. Yeah. Well, well, We'll, we'll say this, we'll say this. That knight who probably died was probably a lot more selfish than Hrothgar was. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Hrothgar See? made the appropriate anarchy move. Yes, he <laughs> yeah. did. Yeah. Claim the spoils for himself. Oh, yeah. he, he knows what happens. Every time a king dies, the first people they go after are the Saxons. Oh, yeah. No. Especially right. Edwards. All right, that was fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed yeah, it. That was great. I got to get out of here. Yeah, me too. Yeah. All right. Take care, everyone. Uh, Have a good night, y'all. Y'all have a great night. Thanks for running, Bob. Yep. Take care.